What a rush. This is going to be a very quick intro to Mostly Motion Long Tom Enduro 2022. It's the 2nd of April. It's a chilly morning in the Long Tom Pass and we're about to go racing. I am by no means ready for this race. I haven't been on the bike for quite a long time. It's kickstart only for me today. Well, so we'll see what the suffering's about. But we are riding Weekend Warrior and all the boys are ready and kitted up and ready to go. There's Jason in the background doing his second Enduro for 2022 his second enduro ride race ever listen so in terms of expectations for this morning not too much i think a finish is hopefully on the cards um, that's about as much as i hope for this morning really unprepared for this race the bike isn't what it's supposed to be thank you so much to robert co racing for sponsoring this video for today making sure the uh, 2017 ktm 300 mostly motion bike is ready to go with some new stickers that i'll put on after this race doesn't help we ruin it and then uh, get it going again and then ruin it again but uh, that's how it is so this is going to be a fun one we've never ridden here before no one knows the track no one knows what to expect all i know is there's a bunch of very fast guys in our category thank you for watching mostly motion and stay tuned for the race This is it. Ladies and gentlemen who watch Mostly Motion, we are about to go racing. Yes, I'm nervous about this one. There's a quick start here. And... So we go. Oh, we. My whole body's numb from the start. The nerves. Okay, so they warned us about so many lurkers in here. Lots of potential places to crash. A lurker is just a rock in your way that you don't see. Hence the lurking. Waiting for you to crash over it like that. rocks that want to put you down so many close trees they want to grab your handlebars I'm feeling pretty good I must be honest I wasn't feeling it this week I'm super unfit the bike is sounding a bit different oh dust my nemesis Try and settle into a rhythm here. Thanks, bud. Oh, jeez. These rocks. So many rocks. So many rocks. This is like a farm jam. 
if you didn't watch the Farm Jam race, the uh, Isiala one from earlier this year, well last month actually, so uh, I'll put it in here, at the top somewhere, I'm so afraid of going fast in this cut grass, it takes one rock after a big hole and you're down. so many nearly that was close had to get a foot out there Whew, this is hard on your hands so hard I can't explain to you I know you can't see on the video how many loose rocks there are here but it's mad it's nuts Ooh, that one nearly put me over the bars as well I'm catching up to a bunch of guys here which means they're all feeling it My suspension feels pretty good though. I'm just holding on way too tight. There's our first bottleneck. It's just a bike, bunch of bikes all bunched up. No traction there. Oh, it's so slippery. Okay, that's going to be a big one. Still waiting. It's taking a ridiculous amount of time to just get through this section. And then there is another little struggle there. So the ideal thing is not to get stuck and not to waste any energy. But um, I'm already tired from kicking this bike all the time. Okay, it looks like we're getting more to the front of the action here. Sharp little drop off. Settle, you can't get into a rhythm because your bike is bucking the whole time.
Fucking up. Can't see shit. I can't take my hands off the bars to remove them. Oh, my fitness. This KTM is amazing at climbing with that traction disc on. I've got the 420 mountain goat traction disc on for today. You can get some from Mostly Motion. Send me an email, mostlymotion.com. You can get some and make your bike climb like a machine. It saves your fitness. You've got to be on the clutch a little bit, but. That's a jackal. That's a jackal. Yeah! Where is it now? Just saw a jackal run through here. That's amazing. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. Shit. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. Good. That was a big one. Sorry, buddy. You looked all right. Like a 
ways. So going down is more balls than skill. Just put your weight back on the bike. Try and stay balanced. Let it roll. Don't hit anything you don't see. And uh, just try and relax. So I've been told. This gets steep. Jeez. It's the wheat. Oh. Deal. All the bikes are off. Find a good line. But the front wheel in front of the rear one. Ooh, that was nearly. So nearly over the bars. Nearly had my bag come over my head. So, this is my uh, third out of four pink laps. I was doing pretty well. I was sitting third at the stage, so I didn't really want to mess around with the batteries and stuff too much. But on my second, pink lap, I made a bit of a mistake and I went on the green lap and it cost me, I don't know, five minutes. It's not too bad, but I think I've fallen back and I'm going to be quite sad if I don't at least make the top five or six, considering I was third. All I need to do is try and be consistent and as fast as possible now without crashing and without sitting in traffic. Just be smooth. Flow is smooth and smooth is fast. Feeling pretty good for where I know my fitness table is at. I tried to save a lot of energy in the beginning. I tried not to be too stuck in all the bottlenecks. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. My knee, my knee guards on my one, my right inner thigh was chafing me so badly. And then the hand that I broke is not happy. Other than that, the bike is feeling good, very happy. Go for an overtake here. Go back into this lane. I'm riding the left the whole time, so I know it reasonably well. I'm doing okay speed here.
think. I must be honest, that was probably the race that I enjoyed the most out of the Lofal Nindero series so far. And uh, all the laps done. Looks like I got a podium, a third for today, which is amazing considering how I felt before the race. And um, we'll go to prize giving a little bit later and see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching Mostly Motion. Yeah.